and qualifying for the uh, Food City 500. He, of course, drives the number two Miller Lite Dodge, and um, Kurt is joining us right now. And Kurt, certainly uh, this racetrack, uh, you quick out there today and going to be running up front, good pit stall selection. Uh, Got to feel good about Sundays. Yeah, overall, um, we exceeded our expectations today. I didn't think that uh, we'd be sitting on the front row and stopping by the media center after our qualifying run, but hey, here we are. Um, it, it shows that things are just going our way right now, but overall, um, we struggled today to find the right adjustments and the way that um, some of the front end geometry that we unloaded with, uh, we didn't have time to undo it, unbolt it, and, and completely revamp what uh, Steve Addington wanted to throw at it. So we, we improvised a little bit, and uh, I'm pleasantly surprised that we ran the lap time that we did. And I'm even more surprised by the lap time Joey Logano laid down. Uh, that, that's a perfect lap in a COT around here. He did really good to, to hit that just right. So congrats to them for getting on a pole. At, uh, that's probably his first pole. It is. It is. And uh, I've, I've given a lot of people their first pole by qualifying second. So here, you know, I'll give that one to Joey. No, I'm just kidding. He did a great, outstanding job today. Questions now for Kurt. We've got one right here. Go ahead. Yeah, Reed Spencer with Sporting News. Kurt, um, obviously Kyle has done well here over the last six races, three wins, including the last two. Um, how much, um, how much of, of the equation today with Steve and some of his knowledge bringing from that team over to yours? Yeah, that's been the, um, the balance that uh, we've had to, to sort out each of the races so far this year. The, the two-car wasn't terrible last year. Uh, we, we prided ourselves in finishing first in class uh, against the Hendrick guys. And we have our setups. Steve Addington has his setups. And we're realizing that there's two ways to skin this cat. And so we're trying to, to balance the best ideas from what we're used to in the past at Penske Racing and what Steve Addington is used to. And again, today we're surprised by the lap that we ran. And to be second overall, it was uh, Steve throwing a couple things right at the car last minute that he was comfortable with, and they worked out. Tomorrow is, is a new day. We've got a, a couple things that we really want to sort out in the first practice and then get in tune for the full 500 laps that we'll have to run. And Right now, it's more the Penske stuff, but Steve's throwing his stuff at it as quick as he can get it in there, and most of it uh, correlates. So that's the balance that we've been fighting the first four races is, hey, we're fast, uh, but we got two different ways to skin this cat. Okay, we've got time for one more question, and we've got to get Joy up here so we get to practice. It's not got the grip that they were expecting when they came back here, and it took a while for them to put rubber um, Jeff on the track. Jeff, for the racing today, Kurt, with in, the practice you had today, black. have you looked at tire, tire wear and around the Sunday, do you Do you think, can you risk taking two tires, no tires? On Sunday, I'm I'm surprised you asked that uh, question because we saw excessive tire wear on our left front, and right now we're not in position to take any two tire stops. Uh, we, we've got to sort the car out a little better so that we're using all four tires a bit more equally. But uh, right now, um, I would say the track's going to continue to rubber in. It's going to rubber in, and things uh, should shake themselves out to be okay. But this is that tire from Indy a few years ago that uh, that rubbers in the racetrack to help. Uh, give it that color as well as not be so abrasive on tires. Thank you, Kurt. Good luck Sunday. Appreciate it. I'll find that out. Okay. For the first time in his very young NASCAR Sprint Cup Series career, Joey Logano is sitting on a pole here in the uh, Sprint Cup Series. And uh, he drives the number 20 Home Depot Toyota for Joe Gibbs Racing. And uh, congratulations, uh, Joey. Uh, Kurt Busch just called it a near-perfect lap that you turned down or turned around there in this uh, new Sprint Cup car. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, you know, to, to pick up from what we had in practice was uh, key for us. Um, to be honest with you, the car was uh, quite a bit freer than what we had in, in practice. You know, uh, my car was tight. And uh, when we ended practice, and I, I thought, you know, that was pretty good. You know, we were, we were fast being tight. So I thought that was going to be what we wanted. Uh, I dropped it off in the one for the first, first time lap and uh, turned the wheels to the right. I said, uh-oh. So um, you had to kind of park it in the center and get the good run on exit. And that's where we were able to get the pole after watching it on TV and watching the tracker. It's all about the corner exit. So uh, that was the big deal for us um, to get the Home Depot Toyota up there. That was uh, definitely really cool. Um, get your first pole. I never thought it would come here. Um, you know, this is one of my tougher racetracks, and uh, I thought I really sucked here, but I guess I don't now, so that's pretty exciting to me. 
Okay, we'll take a couple questions. We've got to let Joey get out to practice, but we'll take two or three questions. If you got them, raise your hand. We'll come to you quickly. Who's got a question right here? Uh, Joey, Jay Pennell with front stretch and all left turns. seems like this year you've really been at the top of the uh, JGR. What, what's really been the, the difference in, in between the last year and this year, and, and why do you think your teammates aren't up to where you are right now? I, I think for me, it's just experience. That's the biggest thing, you know, being coming to these places a few times, knowing what I want in the race car, me and Zippy working great together. Those are the biggest things. That's that's what really changed us around, um, you know, and I think it just took us a long time to figure it out, you know, and uh, definitely me and Zippy are getting along the best we've ever had, and I think that's one of the biggest things, you know, it, uh, that, that helps us right now. So, um, you know, like I said, this this is pretty neat. You know, you get your first pole. Uh, you know, I'm pretty pumped up about it. I'm going to be sleeping with a smile on my face tonight. Other questions? Reed, you got one? Yeah, basically, uh, could you elaborate a little bit more on, you know, saying that this is one of your tough tracks? How do you go from that to winning the pole? Well, I've always been fast here. I've always had good race cars since, I mean, I've been coming here since 06 in a Pro Cup car. And, um, I've always been fast. I've always been caught up in a wreck or, or, or knocked a fender and blew a tire out, stoved in the nose, blew motors. I've about done it all here besides have an uneventful race. So that's why I look at this as one of my tougher racetracks. And, um, you know, I got a good GameStop Toyota in my Nationwide car right now. Um, so hopefully uh, we get a couple of good runs out of it today. But, uh, you know, I, w I look, walked into the you know, this racetrack, you know, this morning. I said, man, I just want an uneventful race, just a race we can go through without – bending fenders out during the race and, and doing all just get through this thing nice and uh, having a good start position having the first pit stall that's key uh, for here so to have that's definitely a, a really good thing here go ahead jeff we'll take uh, jeff's and then one more joey kurt kurt Boyce said that they had some tire wear on their cup car during practice today how'd, how'd things look on your car i think tire wear will go away eventually when the track rubbers up and the nationwide race is going to put down a lot and, uh, you know, I haven't heard no problems. You know, usually they tell me if they, if they said we had something wrong. But uh, we made a, a lot of race, run, race trim runs in practice and made quite a few laps and didn't have any tire wear issues. So uh, I know this tire drives a lot different than what it did last year. And I know about everyone had to tighten up their race cars. Uh, even when I got my Nationwide car, I was, well, I spun out. So I was loose. So, uh, you know, definitely the tire is freer. Uh, but once you get it, you know, kind of snugged up and you get used to it, it's, uh, it's actually pretty good. So... Uh, I haven't had no tire wear issues. Got time for one more. Anybody else for Joey Logano? Okay, Joey, you really did a great job out there today. Good luck uh, tomorrow and good luck on Sunday. Thank, Thank you. you guys.